a fossil hay from CFA. What's up guys? Ashby Gale here, owner of Charleston Fossil Adventures. It's summer and you're at the beach. You want to come find some shark teeth, but you don't know where to begin. We're going to cover five easy tips in this video to help you find shark teeth at any fossiliferous beach you visit. Let's go. All right. The first tip is you need to find the right material. Up here in the dunes, the sand is way too small. This is wind-blown sand. There's no fossils here. Some people like to hunt down here at the water's edge, but if you look around, there's absolutely nothing but a couple of jellyfish and broken shells. Instead, what you want to find are areas of broken up shells, but each time that wave goes out, we have a whole new set of material uncovered. Tip number two, you need to train your eye to find the right color. Here's a great example. This is the color that we are going to be looking for, super dark black. Right up here is a shell that is a dark gray, but it is not as black as this rock. This is phosphate, that's the rock that fossilized the bones and teeth we'll look for. And this is just a shell that's been stained a dark gray by mud offshore in the ocean. So now that we've found some shells and we know the color we're looking for, now we just have to find a shark tooth. And the biggest key to that is knowing what shape to look for. These are not staged, these are washing out in real time. This one is a lemon shark tooth and that one is a reef shark tooth. These are two of the three most common species of shark teeth you're going to find on a beach in the southeastern U.S. Tip number three is you need to look for the right shapes. For lemon shark teeth, look for a nice broad root with a narrow crown that looks a lot like a capital T. One of the other common types of shark teeth we can find is from a sand tiger shark. These have a long slender crown. Occasionally they'll have an intact cusplet on the side of the tooth and look like a nice big capital Y. Tip number four is you need to think small. Not every tooth on a beach is going to be a giant great white shark tooth or megalodon tooth. Many of the beach combing teeth are very small from species such as black tip, white tip, bull, dusky, and other reef shark species. Sometimes you need to be quick so they don't wash away from you if you're standing in the surf. So look at that. Another sand tiger, that nice capital Y. And lastly, tip number five, you need to find the right search method for the time of day that you're at the beach. For example, right now, I'm here at an incoming tide. So we're about three hours from high tide. Waves are coming in, crashing along the shore, and cutting through the sand to a layer of shells that has been covered up for a good portion of the day. There's a little reef shark tooth. This is also a good method to look for shark teeth if you are here on an outgoing tide, maybe two to three hours after high tide, when the waves are crashing through shell material, pulling sand off of the material. And of course, always pick up any trash that you see when you're out here. Let's leave the beach a cleaner place than when we found it. Bonus tip, keep your eye out for anything unusual. This is a section of Colombian mammoth tooth enamel. If we were only looking for shark teeth, we might not have found this. So, any beach you go to, anything that looks out of the ordinary, pick it up, it might be a fossil. Another important thing is to always move about. If your shell patch 
disappears while you're working it. Walk a couple blocks down, walk a few blocks down. I've just gotten to a new area where there's loads of shell material. So let's take a quick look, see if there's anything that has been uncovered. Not a shark tooth, but some cool fossilized scallop shells. Tip number 5.2 on finding the right search method. Here's an area where we have a bunch of shells, but we're a good ways from the ocean. So, sometimes it's best to stick to these lines of material, even if they aren't at the water's edge, because you might find a shark tooth hiding in amongst all of these shells. The ocean is really good at sorting material, so when you have bits of shells and broken up rock that are in the centimeter to two centimeter or half inch to inch range, chances are pretty good that you're going to find a shark tooth in somewhere among them. You see, just like that, we have a super tiny rock. Okay, sometimes I get fooled. All right, now we have a real one little reef shark just sitting right up here with all of these other small shell fragments. I do admit conditions are not ideal today. It is incredibly windy, but if you're able to adapt and move from one productive spot to another without staying in a dead zone for too long, you can have a pretty productive day. So let's head on back and see what all we found. And we're back. Just in about 20 minutes of hunting, we got 13 shark teeth and countless other fossils. We've got fossilized scallops and oysters up here, a swollen fish vertebra still inside the limestone. We have fish skull elements. We've got a stingray spine, turtle shell from a pond turtle out of the ice age, burrfish teeth, a fossilized crab claw that actually still has limestone on the inside of it. There's our piece of a baby mammoth tooth. And probably the coolest thing outside of the shark teeth is this piece of a molar, so a cheek tooth, from a giant beaver that was five feet tall, over 200 pounds. You can see there are those enamel lines on the top chewing surface. That one was a really cool discovery. Didn't catch it on camera, but it came out of the same trip. Four sand tiger shark teeth, two lemon shark teeth, and seven reef shark teeth. Thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and hopefully it helps you find shark teeth whenever you head to a beach this summer. Of course, if you want to have a guide with you and you're coming to Charleston, feel free to give us a call. If you'd like to visit Charleston and find your own fossils from the Ice Age and beyond, please consider booking a tour with Charleston Fossil Adventures. Our trips are unlike any other in the state. We ensure a fun time and provide accurate identification of every fossil you pick up. As a paleontologist, I'll teach you not only how to find the fossils, but identify them as well. Find out why we're Charleston's choice for adventure activity and best tour guide. I'll even be glad to sign your copy of my field guide to fossils when you visit. Thanks so much for watching everyone. Please be sure to subscribe to our channel for more educational fossil content and tips on how to collect fossils legally in the state of South Carolina. Happy hunting y'all and good luck out there.